Ah, where did I put it? It must be here somewhere. It can't have just disappeared. What a mess! Ah, Wendy, have you seen my phone? <laughs> no. Just look at this office, Bob. No wonder you keep losing things. It's not that bad. Yes, it is. It's a disaster. A workplace needs to be kept tidy. You know that. Hmm. Hang on. No. Aha! Thanks, Wendy. See? I didn't need to tidy up after all. Uh. Have you seen my tape measure? That's it. You may be the best builder in Spring City, but you're also the messiest. Today, your job is to stay here and fix the office. Oh, OK. Can I fix it? Yes, I can! <laughs> Whoa, Shifter! Slow down! Steady! Sorry, Lost Death! But stacking pallets is fun! Good morning, Lofty. Shifter. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Bentley. Bentley. Lovely day for doing a spot of building, eh? <laughs> Hello. Only me. Oh, Mr. Bentley. <coughs> I forgot you were coming. Oh, dear, dear, dear. I don't know what Mayor Madison would say if my office looked like this. She'd probably say what Wendy said. Get it sorted. Yes, but she'd say it a lot louder. Now, I just popped in for that design you kindly drew up for my new garden shed. Oh, right, yes. OK, I'll just get it. I know it's here somewhere. I can't wait to get building. I'm quite a dab hand with the old drill, you know. I'm sure you are. Ah, here you go. You can pick up the materials you need from the yard. They're all listed on the plan. Wonderful, Bob. Many thanks. Uh, good luck with your tidying. Thanks. Think I'll need it. Shifter, I need to collect all the bits I need for the new garden shed that I'm building. OK, Mr B. What can I get you? We'll start with the timber. Uh, according to this plan, I'll need... Uh, oh, 30 pieces of 2 by 4 30? Brilliant! Need a hand? That's quite an order. Thanks, Lobster! Brackets, screws, hinges... And 20 pieces of 2 by 6 20? Wow! That's a lot for a garden shed. Well, that's what it says on Bob's plan. And Bob knows best. Hey, Lofty. That's right, Shifter. Bob does know best. Then there's ten cinder blocks, the plywood sheeting... I'm on it! If you want it shifted, call for Shifter. I'm the guy. There's no one next to you! Whoa! Well, steady there, Shifter. Slow down, steady. Ooh, oops. Nice and careful, remember? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Lofty. You know, I think we're going to need two ton to carry this lot. Ah, I think it's a brilliant idea, Lofty. Museum. M for museum. That goes under M. Uh, vet. V for vet. So that goes under V. <sighs> this is thirsty work. I think I need a cuppa. Now, where did I leave my mug? That's it. I'm ready to roll. Splendid. Thanks, Shifter. Thanks, Lofty. Good luck building your shed. Bye, Mr. Butler! Oh, yes. I've seen some sheds in my time. Back in Moose Jaw Creek, they made sheds out of ice. What happens when the sun shines? Sun? <laughs> You've never been to Moose Jaw Creek, have you? Let me tell you all about it. What are you doing? Oh. Hello, Leo. Uh, Wendy won't let me out of the office until it's all tidy. Oh. Which means you'll be supervising today's build. Me? Oh, wow! So what's the job, Bob? It's a giraffe house at the zoo. Uh, I have the plants here somewhere. Oh, this is awesome! I can't 
can't wait to get started. Me in charge of a build. Uh, ah, yes, here you are, Leo. Just follow the plans and you won't go wrong. Huh. Thanks, Bob. Wait till I tell Dad. See you later. Anything I can do to help, Leo? Bob's put me in charge of building a giraffe house at the zoo. A giraffe house? Can I help, Leo? Can I? Oh, of course, Lofty. I expect it will be a really tall building, so I'll need your help. Come on, the sooner we collect up the materials, the sooner we can get started. Yay! OK, so I need six pieces of two by six. Six? That's not very many. Mm, that's what it says on the plan. And Bob knows best. <laughs> Yes, that's right. He does. And 20 pieces of 2 by 4 four cinder blocks, plywood sheeting, brackets, screws, hinges. No, that's 4 by 8 Oops, sorry. Too much to carry. We'll get Tread to help us out. Did somebody mention my name? Oh! Hi, guys! Hi! Hi. This is so exciting! I've seen Bob's plans and they looked brilliant. Ah, Bob's the best. So, one giraffe house coming up. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Alright! All done. This is one tidy office. I think Wendy will be very impressed. Sorry, Bob, but I am sorting it out. Yes, it does look a bit messy. It's like I always say, a workplace needs to be kept tidy. Oh, is that what you always say, Bob? Ah, oh. <laughs> hello, Wendy. I, uh, I was just, um, I finished the office. Yay! I've just seen it. Good job. Thanks. Told you I'd fix it. Hello, Tread. What's up? I think you'd better come along to the zoo, Bob. We've got a little problem. Uh-oh. I suppose it might just fit a baby giraffe. But I designed it for a grown-up giraffe. How... why is it so small? I just followed the plan you gave me, Bob. Uh-oh. This is the plan for Mr Bentley's garden shed. What? Let me see that. Oops. But if I have the plan for Mr Bentley's garden shed, then what does Mr Bentley have? I only wanted somewhere to store my lawnmower. I'm so sorry, Mr Bentley. This is all my fault. I got a bit mixed up with the plans. Oh. Oh. Now what are we going to do? I suppose we'll have to dismantle this and rebuild it at the zoo. Hmm. Maybe not. Leo, the plans for Mrs. Johnson's new fish pond. Ah, oh, thanks, Bob. And for you, Wendy, the plans for Spring City's first Olympic-sized swimming pool. See you later. Bye. Or should that be the other way around? Leo, 
Wendy, hang on! <sighs> Scoop! Scoop! Guess what? Wendy says it's going to be Bob's birthday soon. Oh, wow! We can have a party! Yay! Yes, and she's getting him a present. It's a surprise. Oh, I wonder what it'll be. I don't know. Wendy! Wendy! What's the surprise? Schmuck! Well, what's the surprise job today? <laughs> no surprises today, Scoop. It's a big day, though. Is that because we have to finish putting in all the steel supports for the skyscraper, Bob? That's right, Leo. Just like this. We're finishing this part today. These supports hold up the rest of the building. And then after that, we'll be able to build on upwards. Whoa! That is awesome! Yes, it'll be the tallest building we've ever built. Now, Lofty, you'll help me, Wendy and Leo. Right too, Bob. Not forgetting Tiny, of course. Hi there, Tiny. Ready for some tower power? Morning, Bob, everyone. Oh, yes, tower power at the ready. Excellent. <laughs> Scoop and Muck, you'll dig the trenches for the pipes to bring water to the skyscraper. Will do, Bob. Yes, Bob. So, team, can we build it? Yes, we can! I know what Wendy's surprise present to Bob will be. Oh, go on then. What? It'll be... A new motorbike! Oh, yes, Bob would love that. Back in the moon. Or maybe it'll be a new saxophone. Hi there, Scoop. Oh, hello, Roland. Wendy asked me to deliver this. Why, what is it? I think it's something for Bob. Something for Bob? <gasps> OK, pop it in here, Roland. I'll make sure Wendy gets it safely. Great. Thanks, Scoop. Say hi to her for me. Will do, Roland. Bye. 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 What's happening? Look at this. Look. Roland just brought it. It's something Wendy ordered. And Roland thinks it's for Bob. And you better give it him, then. No, don't you see? Wendy ordered it and it's for Bob. So it must be her surprise present for him. Oh, yeah. I get it. Oh, but it can't be a motorbike like you said. It's much too small for that. It might be a toy one. Anyway, the point is we have to give the box to Wendy, but not when Bob is around. Uh... I'll just pop it over here. OK. Remember, Bob mustn't see it. Right? Right. Uh, OK. Got it. Steady. That's it. OK. It's in place. Thanks, Tiny. You're welcome. Hey, Wendy. What's up, Bob? I think this power drive is going to break down soon. Has the new one I ordered come yet? No. I asked Roland to pick it up and bring it over. He should be here soon. Oh, OK. I'll go and take a look. Oh, no. It's Bob. Bob's coming. Huh? Hey, what are you doing, Muck? It's Bob. He mustn't see the box. No, no, leave it where it is. We can stand in the way or something. Uh, I've picked it up now. What shall I do? Uh, take it away. Pretend you're going to the spoil heap. Hi, what? guys. Hello, Bob. Um, I'm just off to the spoil heap. Again. <laughs> oh, OK. Well done, Muck. Everything all right, Scoop? Oh, hi, Bob. Yes, fine, thanks. Uh, busy, busy. Good. Right. Now, has anything come for me today? Any delivery? Oh! Oh, uh, 
a delivery for you, Bob. Uh, no. But, um, if something does come, I'll let you know. Of course. Straight away. OK. Thanks, Scoop. See ya. See ya, Bob! <sighs> oh, no. Oh. Uh, oh. Hello, Bob. Everything all right? Sure thing, Bob. <laughs> OK. See you later. <sighs> Now what? Oh, I know. Lofty. He'll know what to do. Psst. Lofty. Look. Uh, it's a box, Muck. Yes, I know, I know. But it's not any old box. It's Wendy's birthday present to Bob. Oh. And Bob mustn't see it, Scoop says. And, um, and... Hey, Lofty. <gasps> More stills, please. Coming right up, Leo. So, why not just give the box to Wendy? We're going to. But not when Bob's around, cos it's a surprise. So, I want you to hide it for me. Righto. Wendy! <gasps> Over here, Bob. Hide it, Lofty. <laughs> Uh, uh, quick, quick, quick! Uh, oh! OK, done it. Where is it? In your dumper. Oh, right. Thanks, Lofty. Hi, Muck. Everything OK? Yep. I just popped out to see Lofty. Right. So where's Bob's surprise? Uh. Oh, no. What do you mean, oh, no? Lofty put it in me dumper and... I forgot. What? Oh, fuck! Oh, great! I'm sorry. I can't see it. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sure it's in there somewhere. It has to be. It really has broken now. I need that new one so I can carry on. I'll ring Roland and find out where it is. There it is! Gotcha! Oh, Mum! Bob's coming! Hide it again! Oh, ah, here you are! No, Mark! Don't give it to me! Ah, stop it, Scoop! I don't want it! Mark! No! Yes! No! Yes! Quick! Uh, everything all right, Wendy? I'm not sure. What happened to the parcel Roland brought earlier? He says he gave it to you. Oh, uh, it's, um, th th you know. Oh, 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 you mean Bob's surprise present. Muck! Oops. I wasn't supposed to say that, was I? What do you mean, surprise present? Oh, Muck means the one Wendy's giving you for your birthday, Bob. The one Roland brought. Oh, Scoop, that's not a present. That's Bob's new power driver. We can't finish the build without it. Oh, and we've been trying to keep it out of his way all day. I got that wrong, didn't I? Yes, Scoop, I'm afraid you did. The question is, where is it now? Um... In there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, really. Mm. Excellent. Now, if we all work together, we can still finish on time. Can we do that? Yes, we can! Team, we did it! Hooray! Nice one! Uh, Wendy, what are you giving Bob for his birthday? Mark! It's
It's supposed to be a surprise, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope it's something really good, like a new motorbike or a saxophone, maybe. Well, you'll just have to wait and see, won't you, Bob? So, this is where the bank safe is going, team. What's a bank safe? A bank is a place that looks after people's money, Scoop. And a bank safe is the special room where they keep all that money. Oh, wow! Look, I'll show you. First, we build the thick walls. Then, we wrap it in really strong steel. And finally, we put on a huge door with a lock that will only open if you know the right numbers to press. Oh! oh. It's called the code. And it has to be kept secret. <gasps> oh, I love codes! I make them up all the time. We need to have the safe finished before we put the basement ceiling in at the end of the day. So, can <laughs> we build it? Yes, we can! Oh, Leo, look. You've left your toolbox open again. Whoops. Remember when you left it open last time? It got knocked over and all your tools went everywhere. Yeah, that was not cool. Try to remember to shut things when you finish with them, OK? Will do, Bob. Fire, Tutan! <gasps> oh, is that the door for the safe? Yes, and it's huge. One of the biggest doors I've ever seen. And I've seen some big doors, I can tell you. <laughs> this safe is going to be so amazing. I'll take that from you, big fella. Thank you, Tiny. Time for some tower power. <laughs> Listen, Dizzy, I need to tell Bob the secret code for the door. Why don't you tell me instead? I could just go and get Bob. It's all right, Scoop. I am really good with codes. You can tell me. Hmm. Well, all right. The code is... Hmm. Three. Three? One. One. Two. Two. Four. Got it. Three, one, two, four. Yeah, got it. Three, two, one, four. No, Scoop. It's three, one, two, four. That's right, Dizzy. See you later. Bye, Tutan. Bye bye. Right, I'd better go and tell Bob the code before I forget it. Three, one, two, four. Three, one, two, four. Three, one, two. Don't worry, Dizzy. I can remember it backwards, forwards, and inside out. Three, two, um, four. Uh, no, uh, two, one. Four, uh, six. That's it, Tiny. Keep going. Lower. Bit lower. OK, it's in place. Thanks, Tiny. You're welcome, Bob. Wow, look at that. It's so big. Are you going to give Bob two tons message, Dizzy? Yes, in a minute. First, I want to take a closer look at this safe. All done. That's the electric switched on for the door lock, Bob. I'll install the lighting later. OK, thanks. So, what's next, Bob? So, next, we need to weld the metal panels that go around the safe. The panels are already here, Bob. I will go and get them. Thanks, Cooper. Sounds like a good time to have a break. Are you coming, Dizzy? Yes, coming! I'll be with you in a moment! The safe looks brilliant! Maybe I could have a little look inside. Ugh, this is cold. Mm. Who left the lid off the thermos? Sorry, Wendy. I left it open. Oh, try to remember to close things, Leo. I will, Wendy. 
Promise. I've got the first panel, Bob. I'll take it down to the safe. OK, Scoop. Wendy and I will get our welding gear. I'll come down with you. Mm, these walls are made of top quality concrete. Oh, the safe door's been left open. Suppose I should close that too. With that big door shut, nobody will be able to get in here unless they've got the code. <gasps> the code! I need to tell it to Bob! <gasps> oh no! Hello? Oh, I don't like being in here in the dark. Oh, I don't like being in here in the light either. Yeah. Another panel, please, Leo. Sure thing, Bob. Uh, where's Dizzy? She had something to tell you, Bob. Don't worry, Scoop. She won't be far away. Help! Oh, dear. They don't even know I'm in here. Oh, yuck! A creepy crawly! Sorry, creepy crawly. I'm not scared of you. It's the dark, really. Ooh. What's that noise? That's strange. It's coming from inside the safe. Someone must be in there. Well, there's only one of us missing, so it must be Dizzy. Oh, uh, uh, who shut the door? Uh, that was me. But it's locked, and we don't have the code to open it. I know the code. Two Tun told me and Dizzy. Great. What is it then, Scoop? It's... it's... Uh, there was a six in it. It's, uh, six, three, um... No, I've forgotten. Oh, I hope Dizzy's all right. It'll be dark inside without any lighting. We need to get her out of there quick. Yes! They can hear me! Mm, but only just. I've got to remember the code. It was, uh, three, one, two, uh... Four! That's right! Three, one, two, four! But how am I going to tell Bob? Tutan won't be back here until the end of the day. And Diz is the only other one who knows the code. Oh, she's still tapping away. She must be really worried. Hey! The tapping has changed! Listen! Oh, yes. What does it mean? Oh, oh, I've got it! Maybe it's the code! This is greater codes! Yes, that must be it! Well done, Scoop! Three taps... One tap... Two taps... I think she's tapping three, one, two, four. Oh, yes! Three, one, two, four! That's the code! That's what I said! Here we go, then. Three, one, two, four. In there. Are you okay? I'm fine now, but it was really scary. There was a huge creepy crawly in there. Really? Ugh. I'm so glad you understood my tapping. Oh, that was very clever of you. But it wasn't very clever of me to go inside the safe without telling anyone. And I should have given Bob the code when Tutan told me it. Oh, we're just happy to have you out. But we'll have to work extra hard to get the safe finished in time. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Done, team. This safe is really solid. It's nice and bright inside, too. And no creepy crawlies to be seen anywhere. Apart from the one on your back! <gasps> hey! Has it gone?
on. Yes? But you've locked Bob and Wendy inside. Oops. That's all right. I can remember the code. Uh, what was it again, Dizzy? It's OK, Leo. I know it. Uh, six, two... No, Scoop. Uh, it's... No, no, don't tell me. Uh, uh, two... No. Uh, seven... No. Uh, Okay, just for a minute, Scoop. You guys go on. We won't be long. OK. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Scoop. Hi, Bob. I've had the best day. I got to take Rex to school and show everyone how well-behaved he is. Look. Sit, Rex. Wow, what a <sighs> clever dog. Good boy, Rex. And paw. Oh, I want to try. Rex, paw. <laughs> Well done, Scoop. He likes you. Oh, thanks, guys. We'd better go, Scoop. We've got a build at the zoo first thing tomorrow. We've got a school trip to the zoo tomorrow afternoon. I might see you there. Pilchard, sit. Hmm. Pilchard, sit. Meow. Good girl. Now, paw. Yes. And stay, Pilchard. Huh? No, I meant stay there. You ready to go, Scoop? No prop, Bob. Sorry, Pilchard. You're going to have to get down. I've got to go to work now. No. Oh. Oh. All right. You can come with me then. I know you'll be good now that I've trained you up. Come on, let's go. Drive on, Tewton. Full speed ahead. Morning, Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Good Hi, morning. Jenny. Hello. Hi, everyone. Oh, Bob, everything will be finished before we reopen this afternoon, won't it? Yes, don't worry. Leo and the machines will build the bear's new climbing frame while I repaint the washroom and fix the plumbing. Oh, and could you take a look at the sign over the penguin enclosure, too? It looks a bit wobbly. Of course. Let's do that now. It's your build, Leo. You call it. Thanks, Bob. Well, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. <laughs> I know. I switched it off so I can do the plumbing. Oh, yes. Silly me. I don't suppose... Yes. I'll switch it back on so you can make some tea. Pilchard? What's she doing here? She wanted to come to work with me. She really shouldn't be here, Scoop. But I've trained her up. Like Steffi trained her dog, Rex. She'll behave herself. I know she will. You won't tell Bob, will you, Leo? Lofty? All right, then. I suppose not. But you have to look after her at all times, Scoop. I will. Promise. Go on, Pilchard. You stay away from the build so you're safe. See? She does everything I say. Hmm... Uh... How's it going? Ah! Hello, Bob. <laughs> you OK, Scoop? Oh, uh... Oh, uh... Yes, Bob. Fine, thanks. No problems. Right. Oh, yes. This is all looking great. Huh, thanks, Bob. I'll get on with the painting, then. Call me if you need anything. Of course. Straight away. Pilchard. Oh, there you are, girl. 
pile. <gasps> was Pilcher in that pile of wood? Oh, Scoop. She could have been hurt if Lofty had picked up one of those posts without knowing. I only took my eye off her for a second and she wandered off. She shouldn't be here at all, Scoop. I think we should tell Bob. Oh, no, please don't, Lofty. Please. Uh... Oh, I know. I'll make her a safe area to sit in. She'll be fine then. Well, OK. Just so long as she is safe. Bob? Bob, can we put the bears back in their enclosure? It's their feeding time and they're really hungry. Yes, I think they've nearly finished. I'll go and check. There you go, girl. That's it. You get nice and comfy. Pilchard, you're supposed to be in your safe area. Go back in and sit. What's wrong? Pilchard isn't doing anything I tell her now, but she was before. Scoop, I don't think you can train cats. Maybe it just looked like Pilchard was doing what you told her because she was doing those things anyway. Oh, right. Yeah. I feel a bit silly now. Don't worry. We can all take it in turns to watch her. Can't we, Lofty? Yeah! <coughs> <gasps> oh, hi, Bob! Hi, Bob. How's the painting going? Great. Apart from all the extra jobs Jenny keeps finding for me. Anyway, she wants to bring the bears back now, so you need to finish up as soon as you can. Yep, OK. No problem. Then I might need some help myself. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Excuse me. Right. <gasps> hmm. Okay. Phew. <sighs> oh, look, they really love it. So do I. Well done, everyone. Thanks, Jenny. Thank you. No prob. <gasps> Pilchard! Oh, you were supposed to be looking after her, Scoop. I said it was a bad idea. What's she doing here? Oh, no! <gasps> Uh-oh. Well, it's all my fault, Bob. What happened was Tell it... me later, Scoop. Right now, we need to get her out of there. But how? We can't go in while the bears are there. It's not safe. Maybe I could lift my bucket over the fence. That way she could climb in. Pilchard! Here you go! Pilchard! Oh, think, Scoop. What does Pilchard like? I know! Quick, Bob, we need fish! Brilliant, Scoop. I just got some ready for the penguin's lunch. Uh... Stop! Oh, no! Oh, Look over here! Please don't hurt Pilchard! Lower your bucket, Scoop! Fishy, fishy! There's fish for you! Uh-oh. I forgot bears love fish too. Come on, Pilchard. Yes! Oh, you silly cat, Pilchard. I thought that bear was going to hurt you. Sorry, Bob. I should have known a building site wasn't a safe place for a pet. Especially not a site full of wild animals, Scoop. But I'm just so relieved she's safe. I brought her to work because Safi said she took her dog to school and... Hey! Safi's class is coming to the zoo this afternoon. We need to work extra fast to clear up. Yes, please. I really need to open the zoo now Pilchard's safe. Right. Let's go, team.
wonderful, Bob. Thank you all so much. Oh, oh, Pilchard's going to need a bath, Bob. She really smells of fish. Pilchard? Hmm, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Thought so. It's you, Scoop. You're the fishy one. Oh, no! Oh, it smells so bad. Oh, yucky. It's so gross. What are we doing at the marina, Bob? Are we building a boat? No, Muck. We're going to replace both of the old wooden jetties. But, Bob, where's the water? Where are all the boats? <gasps> Have they all gone down the plug hole? No, Scoop. There's no plug hole. All the water was let out of the marina through the lock gates when the tide went out. Oh. Some boats are in their sheds and some are out at sea until we've finished. Ah. Curtis has taken the day off to go fishing in his boat. See? Over there. Oh, yeah. Hiya, Curtis. <laughs> Curtis! If we finish this job by the next high tide, we can open the lock and refill the marina. Right, Wendy, let's take a look at the jetties. OK, Bob, let's do it. Wow! This is going to be great! Digging up the actual seabed! Who knows what sea stuff we might find down there? I bet there's pirate treasure. I don't think so, Muck. Just lots of rocks and slimy seaweed, if you ask me. Look, Wendy, this wood is split all the way down. And these rings are very rusty. We'll need to replace everything. Yes, it's a bigger job than I thought. <laughs> Whoa! Careful, Wendy. Whoa! Oh, we'll have to take care down here. It's really slippery. Shall I start digging, Bob? Shall I? No, not yet, Scoop. In fact... Yes? I think it's too slippery for your wheels. Stretch will have to dig out the uprights. What? He can grip the ground better with his caterpillar tracks. Oh, but I love digging. And it's not like I get to dig on the seabed every day. Oh, please, Bob. Please let me dig. Please, please, please. please. Sorry, Scoop. You'll have to sit out the digging this time. Oh! But will you give me a lift back to the yard so I can collect stretch? OK. <laughs> back already, Bob? Is there a problem? Yes, there's a change of plan, Tutan. I need stretch right away. Uh, everything all right, Scoop? Oh, hi, Shifter. No, not really. Bob says I can't dig on the seabed because my wheels will slip. That sounds very sensible. Yes, but I'm a digger, Shifter. If I can't dig when there's digging to be done, then what good am I? I don't know. I'm ready to work, Bob. Anytime, anywhere, any place. Just show me the spot. That's great, Stretch. Oh, but don't say anything to make Scoop feel left out, will you? He's very disappointed that he can't dig today. All oh, right. Of course not, Bob. Oh, here comes Bob. I'd better get back to work. See you, Scoop! See you, Shifter! So, I suppose I'll have to stay here at the yard then, Bob. No, no, Scoop. I'm sure there's something you can do. For a start, you can give me a lift back and then pick up Stretch's pile driver. No problem, Bob! sure that's a good idea, Scoop. But it'll save us time, and I'll be very, very careful. I promise. Please, Bob. Please, 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 please. <laughs> OK, Scoop. There might be somewhere safe for you to work. Yes. You can dig out the line of uprights nearest the slipway. There's not so much seaweed there, but you must still be very careful. Yes! Oh, I will, Bob. 
promise! Lucky. Right, it's digging time at last. Oh, oh. Oh, Bob was right. This is really slippy. Oh, slipping, slipping, slipping. Oh. Glad you could join in, Scoop. Thanks, Stretch. Ew. There, one jetty finished. One more to go. Oh no. Stretch is almost finished. I have to work faster. Oh, but it's too slippery to dig properly. Ah, three rows all done. Great work, Stretch. One row left. Would you like me to help you, Scoop? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, thanks, Stretch. I can finish it. No problem. OK, you've got it. Bob, I'm ready for my pile driver. Oh. Whoa! Uh, Scoop, aren't you digging a bit too wide and a bit too deep? No, it's spot on. My digging is never wrong. Hmm, I'm not so sure. <laughs> there you go, Stretch. Oh, thanks, Bob. Great. Now I'm ready to pound in those uprights. Ooh, those are deep holes, Scoop. They're really wide. No, they are not. Muck, they're just fine. Oh. Ah. Yeah, whoa! See? All done. Let's see how these fit. One of mine. Yes, perfect. And one of scoops. Oh, that can't be right. Maybe the pole's bent. Uh, try another one of mine, Stretch. Yay! Oh, oh dear. That is not good. There, all done. Oh no, what's happening? Scoop, what's the problem? <laughs> oh, what's happened here, Scoop? If Stretch tries to drive those in, the tops will be right under the water at high tide. I know. I've dug too deep, Bob. But how did Stretch manage to get it right? He works so quickly! Wait, Scoop! It's too slippery for you over there! Whoa! 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 Oh! Oh! <gasps> oh no! I'm stuck! I'm coming, Scoop! Oh, why didn't I listen and just Whoa. let Stretch do all the work? Oh, because you love digging, but you can't grip slippery rocks like Stretch can. You've each got different skills. Oh. But what if the rocks weren't so slippery? Hang on, Bob! There! I'm not slipping anymore! I'm gripping! Whoa! That's really clever, Scoop. I'd never have thought of that. Yes! Good thinking, Scoop. Now, what if I can make a path of gravel? Then I can help fix things. Can I, Bob? Can I? We need to work fast if we're going to refill the marina at high tide. So, team, can we finish? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Is everything OK, Scoop? Yes, Bob! We are ready to let the water in! Great! OK, Wendy. <laughs> oh, 
right, Curtis. Good fishing. Yes, thank you, Bob. I caught a lovely fish for my supper. These new jetties are very smart. Much better than the old ones. Next time I work on the seabed, I'll spread gravel to stop me slipping before I start work. Or you could just leave it to scratch. After all, he is built specially for that kind of job. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's better. Scoop, did I just hear you agree with me? No. Well, maybe. No, probably not. Right, team. We're here at the Spring City Film Studios today to build an exciting new fun ride. The Dash Lightning Experience. Ooh. Cool! It's so people can ride through scenes from Dash Lightning's most famous movies, and I can't wait! How exciting! I love Dash Lightning! And Dash is sending us some props to use from the actual movies. Two dinosaurs, a space rocket, a robot, and a shark. Ooh, I want to see those! When will they get here? As soon as I fetch their container from Roland's distribution center. But I've lots of deliveries today, so it might take some time. I could fetch the props container for you two, Tan. Good idea, Muck. Lofty can help you. Right oh, Bob. That'll save me a job. Thank you. Come on then, Lofty. Let's go! Dash lightning. Dash lightning? Dash lightning. <laughs> I bet Dash's movie props are in one of those containers, Lofty. Wow, they are enormous. A late parcel. I'm so Roland. sorry to hear that, sir. Roland, uh, which container is the one for the film studios? Uh, the one on the end, Muck. Yes, yes, of course. I'll deliver it. It's per... this one on the end, Lofty. Are you sure it's this end, Muck? Oh yes, Roland said so. Okay, as long as you're sure. Definitely. Ouch! It doesn't fit. Uh, just a moment. <sighs> that doesn't sound good. Whoa! Steady on there. What are you two doing? I'm trying to carry this container two ton, but it won't fit. Never mind. Give it to me, Lofty. Right to coming over. <sighs> Hmm. Looks like I'll have to make this delivery after all. Oh, hello, Tutan. Back already? This was a bit too much for these youngsters to handle, Bob. But thank you. It was a kind thought to try and help me. <laughs> That's all right. Now, I really must get going. Lots more to do. Thanks, Tutan. Bye. Can we look inside? Can we? Hang on a moment, Muck. We need to sort out these bits of scenery first. Oh, go ahead, Bob. We're nearly finished here. I know you want to see inside too, Wendy. <laughs> OK. Let's take a look. Huh? Oh, no. There's furniture in here. What? Sofas, tables, rugs. Ooh. And far too many bright cushions. Oh, no! I should have picked the container from the other end. Well, I did say. This is supposed to be the Dash Lightning experience, not the Dash Lightning furniture display. This furniture must be for somebody else. So somebody else will have our Dash Lightning movie props. But we need to start building the ride if we're going to finish in time. So, Muck, do you think you can find Tutan and sort out whose container is whose? Ooh, um... Yes, you can! All right, then. Tutan's taken the other containers already. Roland! Roland! Can't stop, Mark. I promised to deliver this parcel by hand. But please, Roland! Where did Tutan go? I think he said he was going to the museum. Okay, thanks. 
Museum, here I come. Hi, Anish. I'm looking for Dash Lightning's movie props. Are they in that container by any chance? I'm afraid not, Muck. I was expecting a delivery of ancient Egyptian statues. But this seems to be full of sporty stuff like footballs and hockey sticks. Oh, bother. I must find Tutan. Did he say where he was going next? No, he didn't. Sorry, Muck. <sighs> OK. See ya. Bye, Muck. Ooh, this is awesome! This ride's gonna be the coolest thing we've ever built. <sighs> What's taking Muck so long? He and Tutun should be back by now. Oh. Hello, Muck. Hello, Hiya. Maya. We're off to the sports stadium. Sky's got a big surprise for us. Oh, that's exciting. I'm looking for Tutan, but I can't find him anywhere. Have you seen him? We passed him at the town hall not long ago. It looked like he was dropping off a big delivery. Thank you so much, Betsy. See ya. Oh. Mind how you go. Oh, dear me, no. Hello, Mr Bentley. I'm looking for Dash Lightning's movie props. Are they in that container, please? Eh? No. Just dozens of old statues packed in crates of straw. Oh! Thank you, Mr Bentley. Bye! I was expecting new furniture for the town hall. A sofa for the mayor's office. Some lovely, colourful cushions. I'm never going to find two ton in time. Now I'll have to tell Bob the bad news. It's looking great. We're getting there, Wendy. But we still need to install those props, Bob. And soon. Ah, there you are, Muck. Any luck? Oh, Bob, I'm so sorry. I've been looking everywhere, but I still can't find two ton. But without that container of props, we can't finish the ride. I did see one container at the museum and another at the town hall, but they didn't have our props. Ah, but what was inside them, Muck? Oh, uh, let's see. Um, Mr Bentley had statues, but he wanted sofas. And he oh. had footballs and sporty stuff, but he wanted statues. Well, we've got Mr Bentley's sofas. That's right, Leo. So, where would all the sporty stuff need to go? The, the sports stadium. stadium! Oh! Betsy and the Spring City Rockets were going to the sports stadium. Safi said something about a big surprise. That could be it. A surprise container of sports equipment. Come on, Muck. Let's go and find out. Well, this is a surprise, Tutan. Just not quite the one I was expecting. No, that shouldn't have happened. Oh, hi, guys. Hi, Sky. You've probably guessed there's been a big mix-up. Your sports equipment is at the museum. How did I make such a mistake, Bob? It's my fault, Tutan. I picked out the wrong container at Roland's. So, now we know where everything's meant to be. These movie props go to the film studio, the furniture to the town hall, the statues to the museum, and the sports equipment comes here. Got it, Bob. Now let's pack up that shark and get rolling. Great work, team. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. This is so cool! <gasps> Dash Lightning! Dash Lightning! My own ride! Is it ready, Bob? Tell me it's ready! Yes, Dash, it's all ready. We're waiting for you to try it out first. And let's roll! Wendy, you can sit right here. <laughs> hey, Bob, come on! This carriage has my face on it! That's super! I'm so excited! I can't wait to see what I've done! Everyone ready? Someone press a button. Let's go! Zoom. Boom! Lightning strikes twice. Wow! This is from Cretaceous Park. Mega Dino Attack. <laughs> Woohoo! And that's my space robot and rocket from Space Robots 3. 
I recognize this. It's from Sharktooth, the return of Bruce. <laughs> they must be really scared. <laughs> Thank you, all of you. That was the greatest fun ride ever. Oh, I wish I could have a go on the ride. Ah, you're too big to fit, Muck. But you don't need to take a fun ride. To me, you are a fun ride. <laughs> Will you take me for a spin? <gasps> I'd love to, Dash. With a zoom, boom, Muck's coming. Make room. <laughs> Here we are, team. Spring City Racecourse. We're here to replace the old fence panels and put in a new gateway. What's that noise? It sounds like a bee. A really big bee. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, ah. Buzz off, Mr. Bee, or whatever you are. It's not a bee, Lofty. It's an, um... It's my remote control camera drone, Wendy. Oh, hello, Carl. Isn't it marvellous? I can make it go anywhere. If I push the joystick left, the drone goes left. Push the joystick to the right, and the drone goes to the right. <gasps> oh, that thing is amazing. What is really amazing is the shots I can get with it. I'm using it to make a film. Oh, wow! Finally, a film all about me. Actually... It's all about the race course. And today's big horse race, the Spring City Gold Cup. Oh. Not me, then. You might get a big moment in the film, Scoop. Because I, I want to film all of you guys at work. Uh, you're going to film us? Yes! And I want Bob to talk me through everything you're doing. On camera? I'm not sure. I haven't done anything like that before. Oh, come on, Bob. You know everything about building. You'll be great. Uh, well, OK. Great. Start by saying your thing. My thing? Yes, that thing you always say before you start a job. Oh, that thing. OK, then. Uh, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Cut! Marvellous. And then I thought we'd go straight into a montage. Being filmed. <sighs> hey. <sighs> what? No, go away. <gasps> Stop that. Are you having a problem lifting the fence, Lofty? Uh, no, Bob. No problem at all. Um, here we go. Phew, it's gone at last. Good job, Lofty. Thanks, Bob. Your gateway design's great, Wendy. It really does look like a big horseshoe. I can't wait to see it all lit up. I hope people like it. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, <laughs> nearly lost the plans there. It's getting a bit windy. Oh, smile, Bob. You're on camera. Hey there, Bob. Can you tell the camera what you're doing? Um, uh, right. This is the, uh, horseshoe. I, I mean, the new gateway, which is in the shape of a, uh, horseshoe. Uh... The gateway will be made from five sections that fit together. Here's the last piece for the gateway, Bob. Oh, hello there. Uh, my name is... Cut! Oh. Wendy, you were marvellous. And Bob, you were, um... I don't know what to say, Bob. Oh, 
Tell us what you're doing, Lofty. Oh, no, not again. Uh, I don't like being filmed, really. Uh, got to go. But, but you're a natural on camera. Who, me? Yes, I am, aren't I? Thank you for noticing. I'm ready for my big moment now. Um, not now, Scoop. Oh, maybe later. <laughs> It's very windy, Lofty, so make sure your boom is low and keep your hoist line short. Right here, Bob. Will do. <laughs> Car's coming. No, not again. Now, I'm going to film you guys putting in the new gate. All ready, are we? Oh. Uh huh. Um... Good. Action! Here we go, Lofty. We're being filmed. Ah. Uh... Stay out of the way, Scoop. I think it's time for your big moment. Yes! Right, Lofty, swing your boom toward me and Wendy very slowly. Scoop, can you back up a bit? I need a shot of Lofty. Lofty? Oh, all right then. Oh. OK, now, Bob and Wendy, your turn. Stay where you are, Scoop. And action! Keep swinging it round, Lofty! Marvellous. OK, and now back to Lofty again. Oh, hello! Scoop, could you reverse all the way back, please? You're still in Lofty's way. You're still in the shot. Oh, OK then. Eh? Oh, no. Go away. Leave me alone. Huh? Oh, no. Careful, Lofty. Look out. Oh, no. oh. Oh. The wind's blowing the horseshoe, Lofty. You need to shorten the hoist line. Oh, oh. I can't control it, Bob. your big moment. Well done. My camera drone! Oh, no! Did you get any of that? Oh, no. I am so sorry. I've ruined everything. Don't worry, Lofty. We can get a replacement panel for the fence from the yard. And this section of the gateway is cracked just here. We'll need to replace it. OK. Scoop and I can pick up a new one of those, too. My drone is broken, but the camera is OK, thank goodness. Hooray! The camera still works! Why did you lift with such a long hoist in this wind, Lofty? I was trying to get away from the drone. I don't like being filmed. I'm just a bit shy, I suppose. I'm sorry, Lofty. I'll keep you out of shot from now on. And Bob. I won't need you to do any more talking. Really? I'm afraid so. You're, um, not really a natural on camera. <laughs> That's a relief. What? The truth is, Lofty, I don't like being on camera either, especially talking on camera. Well, hey, I'm not the only one. So, who is going to be on camera explaining what's going on? Hey? Mm? Actually, Scoop, I think I know who'd make a great replacement. At last! <laughs> I am ready for my big mo... Huh? What do you think, Wendy? Can I film you? Yes, yes you, you can! can. Oh, yes, you can. So there it is. Spring City Racecourse's new gateway all finished. And cut! Well done, everyone! Wendy, you were great. 
You're much better on camera than me. Or me. <laughs> Thanks, it was fun. And we finished just in time, too. All the horses will be arriving soon to take part in the Spring City Gold Cup. Oh, no! How am I going to film the race without my camera drone? I'll never get all the shots I need. Um, I think I know how you can film it. Being on camera, Lofty, but you're great at holding one. Well done, Lofty. Thanks, Bob. Uh, where's Scoop? I can see him. He's standing by the finishing line. <gasps> yes! He's finally getting his big moment. Uh, thanks. All aboard the Curtis Water Taxi. Oh, thanks for the lift, Dad. No problem. It's not every day I can take you all to work. Uh, come on, Bob, get in. Um, actually, I think I'll just go the long way around with Lofty. Uh, what's the matter, Bob? Don't you like boats? Bob doesn't have any sea legs, do you, Bob? Well, I just prefer the solid foundations of land. <laughs> You're a land lover, Bob. <laughs> I guess I am. I'll see you at the docks. Bye. See you later, land lover. <gasps> that is amazing. It certainly is. That's the ship we're restoring today, Lofty. It was once sailed by Horatio Fixum. The famous explorer who sailed the seven seas. Ahoy there, sailors. Uh, ahoy there, Mr Bentley. That's Captain Bentley to you, Bob. Oh, right. Uh, ahoy there, Captain Bentley. That's the spirit sailor. Mayor Madison appointed him the ship's tour guide. It seems to have gone to his head. Right, crew. We need to get this ship, uh, ship shape before I take her out for her sea trials this afternoon. That's right, Captain Bentley. She needs an engine, rudder and wheel and to be made completely watertight. So, team, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Yes, we can. What? Yes, yes we, we can, can, Captain Bentley! Bentley. For, Bob. I'm using them to build the ship's rudder. You use the ship's wheels to move the rudder and steer the ship. You know a lot about ships for a land lover. What are you doing there, sailor? I'm varnishing the hull to help it stay waterproof. Ah, yes, of course. We wouldn't want the old girl sinking. She's been through a lot. Hmm, fascinating. Uh, perhaps you'd like some help from your captain. Well... You missed a spot. Huh? Just there. Oh, and uh... another one over there. Oh. Uh, and just above your head. I think that perhaps Lofty could use a hand lifting the anchor. Hmm. Excellent idea. Phew. Steady there, sailor. Your captain's coming to help. Thanks, Mr Captain Bentley, sir. Now, the anchor should go on the starboard side of the bow. The what side of the witch? Nautical terms, Lofty. Uh, to do with ships. The starboard side is the right side of the ship. Eh? And the bow is the front of the ship. What? Got that? No. Off we go. No, I haven't got it at all. Where am I supposed Whoa. to be going? <laughs> ah! Sorry, Bob. What happened? I think I got my front and back and sides confused. Here, lower the anchor to me and I'll attach it to its chain. 
Right, Lofty, let's practice those nautical terms, shall we? Uh, maybe later, Mr. Captain Bentley. I, uh, I think Leo might need your help. Ah, yes, <laughs> and that reminds me, I have something for Leo. Oh, thank goodness for that. Ahoy there, Leo! Huh? Here's something to make this vessel look just like she did back in the old days. The flag of Captain Horatio Fixum. I hand-stitched it myself. Climb up to the crow's nest and fix it to the mainmast, will you? Um, I'm not sure I'm supposed to go up there. Captain's orders. Uh, okay. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Man overboard! Got you! Phew. What were you doing up there? Mr Bentley wanted me to fly a flag from the mast. I see. You're a bundle of ideas today, aren't you, Captain Bentley? Just doing my job, Bob. Glad my expertise can be of help. Perhaps we could use your... Uh, expertise? to check the weather forecast for the sea trials. Splendid idea! Where shall I find the ship's barometer? We don't have one. Perhaps you could use my tablet to search the internet. Uh, not exactly what Horatio Fixum would have used, but I suppose it will have to do. Right, Leo. We'll fix the crow's nest later. Come and help me attach the rudder. Oh, oh dear. Not good at all. There's a strong westerly wind on the way and the tide's going out. We need to make sure the ship is tied safely to the dock. Bob! In a minute, Captain Bentley. Never mind. This is a job for the captain. I shall retie the ropes myself, just to be sure. Over, under, pull it tight. Make a bow and it's tied right. There. All secured. Uh, ready for the sea trials, Bob? Not yet, Captain Bentley. Ah, I do wish they'd hurry up. I can't wait to get out on the open sea. Huh? What's happening? Oh, oh that's not good. Whoa! <gasps> the ship! And Captain Bentley! I haven't connected the engine yet! He's going to drift out to sea! Back up, Lofty! Quick as you can! Yes, Bob! Whoa! Oh no! Oh no! Off we go, Lofty! Follow that ship! Mr. Bentley! Drop the anchor! I, I don't know how! I'll stop him, Bob! <laughs> Oh, messed. I can't reach! What? I can't reach! What? Oh, double dear. We're heading for the open sea. What do we do, Gull? Oh, no. Bob, quick, get in! I can catch her up! It's time to find your sea legs! Jump in, landlubber! It's all a dream, a terrible dream. Help me, Horatio! Drop the anchor! Oh, thank goodness for that. A rescue party. <laughs> Ahoy there! Steady as she goes. Here I am, Bob! <sighs> Hold on! Thank goodness you're here, Bob. <sighs> How do we drop the anchor? Like this. There. Let's hope it holds on the riverbed. <laughs> You did it, Bob! Well done! Not bad for a landlubber. I'm sorry I interfered with your work. When it comes to building, you're the captain. Thank you, Mr Bentley. I might keep the hat, though. Can we go back now? Whoa. The sooner the better. Ahoy! Yay! 
right, team. We've got a ship to make ship shape. So, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! This marvelous. Just imagine Captain Horatio Fixum sailing forth to explore the seven seas. Yes, it is rather wonderful, Mr. Bentley. What do you think, Bob? Well, maybe boats aren't so bad after all. And that's Captain Bob to you, Wendy. Aye, aye, Captain. And so you see, nothing up my sleeves. Now watch closely. Abracadabra, halakazoo! Wow! Mademoiselle, these are for you. Oh, thank you, Sylvain. My favorite flowers. Cool. Amazing. Pardon me, monsieur, but I think your hat might fly away. What? Hey, Peresto! Huh? Whoa! Ooh! How did that get there? It definitely wasn't there when I put it on this morning. I must go and get ready for my big show tonight. Excuse me while I... Disappear! <gasps> wow! That is awesome! But, but, where's he gone? It's magic, Muck! He's a magician, remember? Amazing! Oh, I'd love to be a magician and do magic tricks like that. But right now, Scoop, we have to finish building Chef Tatty's new restaurant. Sylvan's doing a magic show here at the Open Air Theatre tonight. We have to have everything ready so his audience can have dinner before they watch it. So, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we can! can. Ni hao, konnichiwa, good day. Hi, Hi Chef Tati. Tati. How's it going, Bob? Will everything be ready for tonight? It certainly will, Chef. We're just about to install the conveyor belt. Oh, I can't wait to see that in action. Dishes of food sailing past the customers on a conveyor belt so they can choose what they'd like to eat. Now I must get started on tonight's menu. Tatty-licious sushi rolls. Sushi rolls? That's right, Bob. Made from rice and chock full of tasty ingredients like raw fish and scrumptious seaweed. Mmm, tatty-licious. Scrumptious seaweed. <laughs> OK. Right, Wendy, let's get this conveyor belt fixed up. I'd so love to be like Sylvan and wow everyone with amazing tricks. Uh. Hey, maybe I can. That's everything, Bob. OK, thanks, Lofty. <sighs> Ladies and gentle machines. Oh? Huh? It's the amazing, the incredible, the totally magical, deadly! What? Why is he waving a drain pipe around? I have absolutely no idea. This is my magic wand! Now watch carefully. Nothing in my bucket. A brook a digger. A look of, um, showers. Watch me make magic with some beautiful... Oh, uh... Uh... Ah! Flowers! Whoa! How did he do that? Easy. He just scooped up Wendy's flowers from behind that pallet. How very 
dare you, Lofty? No, I didn't. I... Oh, all right, then. Oh, I know! Forget that trick! This next trick will definitely wow you! I'll believe it when I see it. Honestly, Lofty, this is amazing! Go on, then, Scoop. Amaze me. Abraka digger! Alakazir! Now, close your eyes. You what? Right. Wait, hold on, Scoop. Magic tricks don't work like that. This one does. Oh, this is the worst magic show I've ever seen. And now I'm going to disappear. Can we open our eyes yet? Just a moment. OK. Uh, Scoop, we can see you. You'll be on that tree. No, you can't. Can you? Yes. Come on, Muck. Let's go and ask Bob if we can see some proper magic. Oh, why are magic tricks so hard to do? Bob, can we go and watch Sylvan practice his show? Sure, guys. Have a break for a few minutes. Yay! Thanks, Bob. That's all right. You go on without me. I've had enough magic for one day. The belt ready, Chef Tatty. Brilliant, Wendy. Let's give it a test drive. Conveyor belt? What's that for? <laughs> it's to move the food around the restaurant, Scoop. Ready, steady. Lunchtime builders. Toot, toot. Oh, wow, that's so cool! Mmm, fabulous, Chef Tatty. This is my favourite kind of dining. Last chance for lunch, Bob. <laughs> bon appetit. OK, I'll try this one. What do you think, Bob? Tatty-licious! Hey! <laughs> ah. Well, Scoop, what do you think of the conveyor belt? I think it's magical. Hmm. I can't believe Sylvan pulled that rabbit out of his head. Now that's proper magic, that is. Ha! That's not magic. This! is magic. Behold! The colour-changing balls of mystery. Green, red, blue and purple, all sitting on the uh, uh, table. Abracadigger, Alakazala. Um, come on. Make the balls change their colour! Ta-da! Pink, white, yellow, orange. Wow! Uh, that actually is quite a good trick, Scoop. Oh, yes! It's brilliant! Do it again, Scoop. Yes, go on, Scoop. Do it again. Um, OK, then. Africa Jigger, Alaka... Whoa, whoa, not so fast. Slow down. Slow down! Whoa! No, Stop! No, Magic! Stop! No, 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 no! Ooh. Ouch! Whoa! No, no! Stop! Stop! Africa, stop! Africa, stop! Oh, Scoop, what have you done? Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, I was just trying to wow Muck and Lofty with a magic trick. Magic tricks take a lot of practice, Scoop. And preferably not using building materials or lunch. Oh, this is a disaster. You'll never finish before tonight's audience arrives. If we work hard, I think we can fix it in time. So, team, let's get to work. It's all ready, Chef Tatty, but I'm afraid we can't fix the conveyor belt without ordering new parts. But how am I going to move the food around to my diners? Uh, Chef Tatty, 
I think I could help. Great work, Scoop. You make a marvelous waiter. Nearly as good as my conveyor belt. Thanks, Chef Tati. What is the matter, Scoop? I'm glad I can help Chef Tati, but I didn't get to wow my friends with a magic trick like you did. I see. A budding magician, are you? And now, for my grand finale, may I have a volunteer? You. Me? And one more magical helper. You. Yes! Repeat after me. Hey, Peresto! Hey, Peresto! Ta da! Woohoo! Awesome. Well, what did you think of that trick? That was great, Bob. Bob! <gasps> Wait, what? How did he do that? That really is magic. Right, team. Today we're going to be building an exercise trail. We'll be building five places where people can stop and do keep fit exercises at different areas around this park. So, we're going to start... <sighs> huh? Hi, Sky. Hi, oh. Team Bob! Everyone revved up and ready to build the exercise trail? Oh, yes. yes! That's the sporting spirit! But how will people know what exercises to do, Sky? A signs like this will show people what to do. See? This shows someone walking along a balance beam like this one. Ah! But why are we building them in different places and not all together in the same place? So people can run from one exercise to the next, Dizzy. It really gets you puffing and panting and your muscles working. Wow! And people can do all this? Of course! People can do anything if they try. You should always push yourself to the limits and never <sighs> be scared to try something new. Wow! I would love to try something new. Do something I've never done before. Anyway, I'm running to Riverdale and back today. And after that, I can try out the exercise trail. <gasps> I can't wait! <gasps> See you later! Right, team, you heard Sky. She'll be back later and we've got an exercise trail to build. And I have to find something to do that I've never done before. Can we build it? Yes, we can! I've drilled all the holes at the other sites ready for the rest of the build, Bob. Great. Thanks, Scoop. Have you finished that chin-up bar, Leo? Yes, Bob. I'm just going to give it a quick test. Go, Leo! That's the sporting spirit. <laughs> right. So... We've got the press-ups and the monkey bars to do next. And then we'll finish off with the parallel bars. Scoop, as you finish the holes, Leo can help you put your rear bucket back on now. Will do. No problem, Bob. <laughs> what do you think, Dizzy? I've never done this before. Well, you your eyes. You're always doing that. And Scoop. 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 Huh? Oh, sorry, Bob. Yes? Once you've got your bucket on, I need you to bring back the monkey bars. And Dizzy, you're going to need some more concrete. OK, Wendy. Come on, guys. Let's go. Can you do a chin-up, Bob? Oh, of course. Very impressive. <sighs> we can all do these, Wendy. We're builders. We use our muscles all the time. 
But if we want to start puffing and panting and really using our muscles, we could do things the old-fashioned way. What do you mean? We need to cut the wood down to size to make the press-up beams. So, let's use hand saws instead of power saws. Great idea. You're on. OK, then. So it's time for Bob's building workout. There you go, Scoop. Thanks, Leo. Remember to bring the monkey bars. Will do, Leo. But first, I've got to find something I've never done before. Why don't you just pick up the monkey bars like you're supposed to? But then I won't have done something I've never done before. Wait a minute. Safi does that thing called a handstand. You mean that thing where she stands upside down on her hands instead of her feet? I've never done that before. Maybe that's because you don't have any hands. But I have got a bucket. The thing I'm going to try that I have never done before is... a bucket stand! But how are you going to get all the way up on your bucket? Well, to start with, I just need to lift my back end up a bit. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Uh... Oh. Maybe you just can't do a bucket stand scoop. No, maybe not. <sighs> One more press-up beam to go. <sighs> Me too. <laughs> Well done, Wendy. Now we need to mix up the cement. Don't tell me, Bob. The old-fashioned way. You got it. It's no good, Dizzy. I'm not getting anywhere with my bucket stand. Hmm. When Safi does handstands, she usually does them against a tree and she takes a run-up at it. That's it! You're a genius, Dizzy! Huh? I can do my bucket stand against the tree and do a great big drive-up! There's a tree! Um, Scoop! No! When I... Don't worry, Dizzy! Hmm. This is it! Oh, my God, look! <gasps> Here comes Spring City's first ever bucket stand! Yeah! Scoop? Um, well, I was trying to do something I'd never done before. Well, you've definitely made a mess like this before. Uh, these parallel bars look a bit bent. A little bit more than bent. We need those to finish the exercise trail. And it's all my fault. <gasps> I know! If I race to the yard and pick up some new bars, Maybe we can still finish on time. Well, you won't have long. Sky will be back soon. You have to be really fast, Scoop. That's it! If I can get to the yard and back that quickly, that really will be something I've never done before. Yes, all right. You can go fast. <gasps> but carefully, Scoop. Yes! Faster than I've ever been before. Faster than I've ever been before. Right, team. We've still got lots of bits that aren't bent. And the monkey bars are OK. But without Scoop, we'll have to do all the digging ourselves. Hmm. The, the old-fashioned old way. way! Oh, no. So, let's build what we can as fast as we can. Can we build it? Yes, we can! <laughs> Finished. Whew, we did it. 
just in time. Hiya, Bob! The exercise trail looks fantastic! All ready to go? Certainly is, Sky. Ah, oh, so far! Do you guys want to join me? Uh, no, it's okay, Sky. I think we've done enough puffing and panting for one day. Okay! See ya! <laughs> time for a peaceful cuppa and a sit down, I think. I'm really happy I got the new supplies in record time, Bob. But I still wish I'd managed to do a bucket stand. Well, you might do it one day, Scoop. But usually, if you're going to do something new, it takes a bit of practice. That's it! Of course! Practice! <laughs> Come on, team. Let's get packed up. Carefully, Scoop. Righto, Bob. <laughs> Oh, I think that was a better one. <laughs> practice makes perfect. I think Scoop's perfect might take quite a lot of practice. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yes! Bob, huh? Wiggy, Leo! Yuck! Yuck! Ta da! I don't believe it. <laughs> hey, cool! Wow, that's amazing, Scoop. I've never ever seen a machine do that before. I'll do a forward roll, just like Safi does. I really don't think that's a good idea, Scoop. Oh. OK, gather round, team. So, today we're going to finish building the new Adventure Centre here at the campsite. Uh, what exactly is an Adventure Centre? It's an office where campers check in when they arrive here. Oh. It's also where campers can get the things they need for their outdoor adventures. Ooh, what sort of things, Wendy? Things like maps for a hike, books about the animals they'll see, torches to see in the dark. You know, Scoop, camping is a lot of fun. Really? Why? What happens when you go camping? You explore the great outdoors, see lots of animals, build campfires, have camp sing-songs. Oh, wow! What else? What else? <laughs> I think that's enough questions for now, Scoop. The Adventure Centre has to be ready this evening for the summer opening. So, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Come on, Scoop. You need to smooth out the gravel after I've dropped it onto the new pool. Uh. Oh, oh. Yeah, Hi, guys. What's going on? Oh, hi, hi. Scoop. We're going camping as soon as the campsite reopens. Uncle Phil's been teaching us all sorts of outdoor skills. Oh, like what? With the help of a grown-up, we can build a campfire from fallen branches. Oh. <gasps> And later, we're going for a hike in the woods to spot different animals. And Phil's told us, if we get lost, we can use this signal. <whistles> it's called an SOS. It means help. An SOS? Oh, let me try. <laughs> wow, Scoop. You're a quick learner. Yeah! I should go on my very own hiking and camping trip. But, Scoop, there's a lot more you need to know. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Careful, Scoop. I'm getting ready to go hiking and camping. Wanna come? Hang on a moment. I just have to place this log here. Oh, Lucy, you're taking ages. I know. I'll look for things that we need for our adventure. You can help when you're finished. Do you even know how to go camping? Yep! The Spring City Rockets showed me some outdoor skills. Oh, wow! Bob can make us a campfire with this! 
trees. See? I know everything about camping. There. A perfect pile of logs. What was that? Scoo! Look at my logs! They're all over the place now. Oops. Oh. Aren't you supposed to be helping Muck? Oh, yeah. Muck! He'll definitely want to come hiking and camping. I'll go ask him to... Well... So, campers have to follow these trail signs and then they won't get lost on their walk. That's right. So put the first trail sign at the start of the trail, here, and then put the rest along this path through the woods. Here, you better take the map to help you. You got all that, Leo? <laughs> yeah, I've got a brilliant memory. I won't forget a single thing. <laughs> he forgot the map. Yeah. Oh. See? I remember everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the end. For a campfire, explore the woods, go for a hike. Oh, wow! Uh, do you really know how to do all that? Of course I do! So come on, let's go! Uh... Right now! Wait for me! First, we can look for animals. Oh, animals. Where should I look? Then later, I'll sing a camp song. Scoop! Wait! I thought we were looking for animals. Huh? Muck? I said hi. I said hey. Let's go camping for the day. <laughs> Scoop! Are you sure you know how to go camping? That's the floorboards finished. The trail signs are finished too. Great. Time to finish the roof. Lofty, are the logs ready? Yes, all ready, Bob. Scoop knocked the pile over and it's taken ages to build it back again. Oh, oh no! Oh, bad look, Lofty. Never mind. Mm. <gasps> hey, Muck! What do you think? Isn't this the perfect spot for camping? We're right in the middle of the woods here. Oh, that sounds rather a long way from Bob. It's way better for exploring. I don't think I like it, Scoop. But, Mark, what about camping? I don't like it. Let's go back and finish the path. Of course we can go back. No problem. Follow me. Uh, I mean, follow me this way. Uh, hmm. What's wrong, Scoop? You do know the way back, don't you? Uh, um, well, uh, um, uh, no. <gasps> that means we're lost. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm brilliant at outdoor skills. Let me think. Um, when you're lost, you, um... You don't know what to do, do you? Yes, I do. Um, when you're lost, you, uh, you... Yes! Oh, you send out an SOS, like this. <gasps> huh? What's that? It sounds like Scoop sending an SOS. But I thought he was working on the path with Muck. Scoop and Muck aren't here. Right, Lofty, come on, let's go and find them. Yes, Bob. It's coming from over there. Right, too. <laughs> now we just have to wait. Um, fancy a sing song? Not really, no. Scoop! <gasps> Muck! <gasps> where are you? That's Bob. We're here! Over here! Found you. Scoop, Muck, what happened? I wanted to go on a hiking and camping adventure, Bob. 
I thought I could just go. I didn't know there was so much to learn. Well, yes. A camping trip needs to be prepared. And you must always tell someone where you're going. Scoop knew the signal for help, Bob. Yes, you're right, he did. Well done, Scoop. Thank you. Now, come on. The campsite is due to reopen soon. We need to get back. Yeah, let's go finish the park. Center is wonderful. Thank you all so much. Hi, Uncle Phil. Ah, my first summer campers. I now declare the campsite open. Excellent. Now follow me, Rockets. First, you have to check in. This looks brilliant. You know, building the Adventure Center makes me want to go camping. Me too. <laughs> and me? Mm, I'm not so sure. Huh? There's so much to learn. You have to know how to spot animals, follow arrows in the woods. Maybe we should just have a sleepover in the yard. You can build us a big campfire, Bob. Yeah! Right. OK, team, let's head into the diner park and get building. Hi there, team Bob. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait to see my new dinosaur boneyard. Hello, Anish. Yes. We're just about to start work on it. What exactly is a dinosaur boneyard? You know how the diner park has models of dinosaurs, so visitors can learn all about them? I love the dinosaurs! dinosaurs. Well, the dinosaur boneyard is going to be a new attraction in the park. And it will be like a giant sand pit with pretend dinosaur bones hidden in the sand? Is that where they used to live? <laughs> no, Mac. It is to teach visitors how archaeologists like me dig and find dinosaur bones. Uh, guys. We have to finish the boneyard by this evening. So, can we build it? Yes, yes we can! can. You need to pour sand in up to this line here so that the pit's half full. Uh, guys, is something wrong? The wind is making scary noises. Yes, and the dino park seems scary without visitors. Ooh, I do like it. <gasps> You're just imagining things. There's nothing to be scared of. Uh, are you sure, Bob? Yes. Wendy and I thought weird things were happening here once. We were working when the park was closed. <gasps> when suddenly we heard a strange sound. <gasps> but it was just the wind in the trees. Then Bob thought a crate appeared from nowhere. <gasps> but Wendy had put it there. <sighs> then I thought one of the model dinosaurs was moving. <gasps> but Wendy had just imagined it. Don't be scared, guys. Cos I'm not. Oh, Scoop, you are brave. Yep, that's me. I am Sir Scoop. Scoop the brave. Brave Scoop. Right, we have some things to do up in the car park. See you later. Oh, uh, will you be long? No problem. See ya. <laughs> the first side of the entrance done. Well done, Lofty. <gasps> what was that? Um, don't know. Just the wind? <gasps> that does not sound like the wind. No, it's all snuffly. 
Scoop, go and see what it is. Me? Why me? Because you're the brave one. Uh, yeah, sure, of course I'm brave. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Goodness. A scary little hedgehog, you mean? Everything's scary here. What would you like me to do next, Bob? You need to go to Spring City Museum and pick up this model of the T-Rex skeleton, Teuton. It's going to stand next to the boneyard so that visitors know what bones they're digging for. Sounds brilliant, Bob. I'm on my way. Anish, you're still here. Yes, I'm practicing what I'm going to tell the boneyard visitors. Just practicing my pterodactyl. Right. <laughs> Stop there, Mark. That's enough to make it half full. And perfect. Ooh, look. Where's that crate come from? It's like in Bob's story. Yes, but Bob said it wasn't scary because Wendy had moved it. So has Wendy moved this crate then, Scoop? Uh, no. There's no one else here. So we're alone and the crate just got there all by itself. Quick, Scoop, do something brave. Get the crate out of here! Of course. Sure, yeah, yeah, I can do that. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. oh, look! Wendy is here! She must have moved the crate. You did move it, didn't you, Wendy? Please say you moved it. Please. Yes, I left it on the path whilst Lofty was finishing the entrance. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you all. Oh, you didn't scare Scoop. He's way too brave. Right, Scoop? Th th that's right. I, I wasn't scared at all. Not one bit. Oh, so they're the pretend dinosaur bones to hide in the sand pit. Yes, and there are three more crates. Can one of you collect them whilst I check things here? Scoop will do it. Huh? Thanks, Scoop. Sure. I'll go. No problem. He is so brave. Really, really brave. I'm not scared. Tra la 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 la. I'm thinking happy thoughts about digging in places that aren't scary, like, like this one. OK, right. Just one long path to go. So, I'm going to go. I'm going. Now. Scoop. Slowly does it. Now, tell us what happened. I saw a dinosaur skeleton, Bob, at the gates. It was st 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 staring right at me. 
Oh, Scoop. No, you saw the Model T Rex skeleton, that's all. Teuton has just delivered it. Oh, oh, it really scared me. Actually, Bob, I've been scared all day, to be honest. But I didn't want to say anything because I wanted my friends to think I was brave. Scoop, it's OK to be scared. I still think you're brave. Oh, thanks, guys. Now, do you see, things are never really scary. Like the hedgehog and the wind. We just imagined that they were scary. Exactly. Now, come on. Visitors will be arriving soon. And we've got a boneyard to finish. Everyone, it's time to dig for dinosaur bones. Yeah! Yeah! Cool. The T Rex had about 200 bones. Awesome! Well done, team. The boneyard's going to be lots of fun. <gasps> what was that? A dinosaur? Nobody move. Why? What is it now? I don't like it. This is very scary. Just a little hedgehog. Again! That is literally the loudest hedgehog I've ever heard. 